this is Eva Eckert. Welcome to the No Excuses Ladies Show episode. For some of you will be your first time joining me today, so welcome. Previously, I was doing these episodes on our private page, but now I am open to the public. I opened this video to the public. Of course, I am on different social media platforms. I am on YouTube channel right now, Eva Eckert. You can sign up directly, send me messages and join me today for today's show. So what is the No Excuses Ladies all about? Because again, a lot of you will be here for the first time. So No Excuses Ladies, it's a weekly show that welcomes all of the ladies out there who have been struggling with making too many excuses and find yourself being unhappy, unhealthy, and unsuccessful in your life. And this weekly show really gives you an examples on how the No Excuses mindset help our freak family become successful in all these different areas of your life, including mind, body, business, and relationships. And the, the tribe is welcome all of you out there, not just the ladies, everyone. As long as you want to become a badass, or maybe you are a badass already. So this show is for you because you can share your examples, how you got there. And that's what, what it's all about, right? To share the knowledge, share the ideas, so I am here to help you, guide you, and lead you to your full potential. The results you get here is completely up to you. Will you take the necessary steps to go forward? It's up to you. I am teaching you, giving, the, giving you the examples, but it's absolutely up to you to take the action. So will you get to the next stage of your life? in your mind, body, and business? Again, the answer is just you, you, you and you only. So by having me as an accountability coach, you will be able to finally discover the, discover the power of self-belief, so motivation and internal motivation, because that's when it comes, everything comes down to you. Start building yourself, right? And go to the next level. So you can stop Stop making the, next, the excuses and create the life that you truly desire. So again, welcome, guys. Thank you for taking the time and doing this. Please tag at least one person in this video who needs motivation today, who needs encouragement, who needs something that will get them out of the funk. Because as we see all the time with this, uh, with this uh, creation of social media and a lot of things going on, people constantly struggle, struggle with motivation struggle with destruction, struggle with a lot of different things nowadays. And, and I am here to guide you and coach here on Facebook. So thank, thank you. And please participate. I always guys hear from you. So uh, share your, share what you think. Don't think that um, it, it's not important or maybe it's not going to help anyone. Someone always can learn something from you. So please, please share the ideas. So again, what has been the biggest struggle in your life right now? What has, the, has been the biggest struggle? I know that a lot of people struggle with motivation and that's what's today's topic. Last week, uh, we were, I was, I was giving you the, the steps, how to stay fit and healthy while traveling. And I think this was a huge success. A lot of people texted me, sent me messages that this was really helpful. So if you haven't seen the episode number 36, please look, you, you can sign up to the YouTube channel and look and watch them all. Uh, again, great tips. Now, why I thought about motivation, because this is when it comes down to our existence, it has to come down from the roots of motivation. And so how how do you really stay motivated? What is why is it like some people are and some others are not? I hear this all the time from people. I hear this from my coaching clients. I've heard this for many, many years or being a coach at peak physique, people will have their good days and the bad days. And we all have. It's not that some people that just always have the best days. It's just the approach, the attitude that you take towards the day. That's where it all starts, guys. And 
even me, right? I can have not the best day because things may not go the way how I want it because that's life, that's normal, but the way how we approach. So when the self-motivation can start really, you need to ask yourself today, hi guys, I see Paul, I see, I see Stephen, thank you so much. Ask yourself today, what do you really want? What do you really, really want? What is that really gets you excited, motivated? When you get the butterflies in your stomach, I would say this for the girls, not really for the guys, unless you guys experience this. I'm not sure, but what makes you happy? What is that that you truly, truly desire? So we're going to start from this, really. What is your ambition? Uh, where? The internal motivation comes with ambition. So uh, having having this excitement, this joy that you when the moment when you get up in the morning, you feel like, wow, this is what I'm going to, about to do. This is how I want to be today. This is who I want to be. This is this is the, um, the, the, the leader that I want to be today. You need to have that internal motivation. But what really sparks you there? Like think about... Uh, you know, you got to peel the layers a little bit. It's almost like peeling the onion, I always say. Because onion has layers and you have to go deeper in asking the questions. And I'm not saying that this is the easiest things to do immediately. This is all about self-development, uh, personal development. But in order for you to find out why you act the way how you act, why some days you feel like you can conquer the world and go and climb the biggest mountain and others are not. Why is like this? What drives you? What triggers you? What causes you to do these things? And why consistent with this and other areas are not? This is all about understanding yourself. And you know what it is? A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't have an idea like what they are all even about. But because I've been a coach for so many, so many, many, many years, we've had these few uh, training centers. We've seen this enough and enough. And it always, we're wondering us, why is like this? Why some people can uh, uh, thrive on it and continue and others don't, right? Why is this a, a not continuation? What's stopping you? And if you've done some homework on yourself, you will be able to actually write this down. So please share what keeps you going and what stops you. Why there are some things in your life that you feel so great and uh, and then you continue and others don't, right? What happens? So when you peel the onion, you really need to write these things down as I ask you, like, what do you really want? What makes you happy? Uh, why some days are good, some others are not, right? Think about, this is a good example. Think about the first love. When you first, I don't know, fall in love or you were, uh, you were excited about the person. You were so motivated to do everything to meet the person, to um, surprise the person. You were not looking for an external motivation to do something. Yet, when it comes to human body, for instance, people uh, need motivation to lose weight. No, guys, no. The motivation has to come internally from you. You can't look at, for the external triggers to get you motivated. This is your body. This is your face. This is your body. This is you. You can't look for a coach or somebody else to put that motivation on you. You need to fight within yourself. So what happens in the body that you actually will step and make the action to change something in your life? What are you going to do and why are you going to do and how you can continue, right? So I gave you this motive, this, this idea of the first love because this is a perfect example of feeling so motivated. So some of you might be at the age that you don't even remember how it is. Try to go back to these feelings and like, okay, how on earth can I create this in other areas of my life? What can I do to feel inspired and push forward that I will not have these ups and downs, that I will not have these ups and downs and losing the weight, gaining the weight? Not only that, we're talking about other areas of your life. It's not just weight loss. I'm talking about starting the business or anything maybe you know being a leader to your to your to your family and your friends 
any area of your life when you see that the consistency is not there because of the internal ambition and motivation. So that's what I want you to do today. And why, you know, and 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 why we do this? Why on earth you would be like, okay, but why would I need to do this, right? To understand what were you doing? How on earth did you keep that motivation going, right? That's that's very important. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until some of you are can and some of you are cannot. And think about it, to ladies. I'm talking about ladies right now. When you wanted to get your hair and nails done, you feel the internal motivation, and you do everything to schedule this. But yet, a lot of you will not schedule a lot. Of why is that like that? So we schedule other things, but then you will not have enough motivation to get up and do the workout. What's stopping you from it? What is it that you don't don't do it, but yet you're going to be taking care of other parts of your life, but you not necessarily do the most important thing, as is taking care of your body. Because as we always say, there is no... No, no, what, what's the purpose? What's the point of building an empire if you are not healthy, right? What is the point? So how can you really get excited? How can you get motivated? Take the same obsession as you had about something in your life and put towards other areas of, of your life. I see this so many times and it's just amazing how sometimes people have such an internal motivation and great motivation towards certain things but then but then they suffer in other areas of your life like we have some business business you know um people entrepreneurs they succeed in their lives but then they the other parts of their life are completely ruined or not uh, put together right so please guys i i would love i would love for you to share with me uh, share with me the ideas how do you stay motivated? What do you do? So isn't like overall life about being happy and, 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 and enjoying the life, right? So why so many people are complaining and so miserable and, and complain all the time that they don't have the internal motivation, right? Getting up earlier, feeling enthusiastic about the day, starting the business, Starting the motivation, think about it. In order to feel motivated, you need to go deeper into your internal needs. Like, that's why I said, what is that that you really want and need? What do you need right now in life that there is really non-negotiable, that you need to go to the next level? So strong that you're becoming obsessed about it that you cannot stop thinking about it. Like, think about it. If you feel so, so uncomfortable with your own skin because you gain so much weight, that need, you got to tune into you and like, okay, this is what I need. I need to feel better. I need to put my favorite pair of jeans. I need to, uh, I need to be able to climb three, you know, three levels, three different levels of steps and not be uh, out of breath. I need to be able to run around with my kids and feel awesome. That's the need. And But in order for you to change this, you need to act on it. But then a lot of people think about it, but they do anything about it. So putting it into action, and we're going to go into the tips. I'm going to give you the tips how we did that and what happened. So let me give you an example. Let for some of you that never met me here and never joined the show, the No Excuses show, and today is episode 37, and I do this li live every week, pretty much every Wednesday I go live, and, and we can discuss certain topics. So let me give you an example. Uh, about when I was 20 years old, right, I, uh, I left Poland, and I came over to America. But I was so obsessed about the mission of coming, there was absolutely nothing non-negotiable. I had a one main goal to come here. 
But the thing was that there were so many obstacles on the way. Today, I'm not going to be going in details because we could spend hours and hours of me talking through the steps of what happened. It's just that the internal motivation never left me because there was a huge ultimate goal ahead of me. And I understood that there will be obstacles in, along the way. The, the end, the outcome was non-negotiable. That's what I wanted. And no one or nothing would stop me from it, right? If you think about your life right now, I want you to think about this for a second. For those of you that do not feel motivated, that you lost that spark, you lost that internal drive. Think about your life and how much you have accomplished. You are not the same person as you were yesterday, a week ago, two weeks ago. I hope that you feel this way. I mean, besides the process of aging and we find these wrinkles and other things on our face and then you realize, oh my God, I look different. <laughs> I am not talking about this. I am talking about, look how far you companies and, and learn the language. Look how much you have accomplished. I am from a different country. Uh, you know, I've learned German. And I've learned English. I don't speak German anymore. I can still read. But so many things that we have accomplished in our life and we forget. And then you think, okay, I used to be motivated, but now I'm not. And then you look back. So don't hold on to the past. Don't let your past design the future. It's not about this. It's just thinking, okay, what the accomplishment that you did, what caused you, what pushed you to accomplish this? You were seeing some bigger goal. You were seeing something that maybe would change your life, would, would take you to the next level. Maybe you saw the future. Maybe you visualize. Maybe um, you are more grateful for your, what you have become. Maybe you have overall bigger vision. So now I want you to look into those areas of your life, your mind, your body, your business, your relationships, and and, and see, are you satisfied with what you have? Or you got to go forward? We're talking about motivation today, right? And through my life, when I was thinking, okay, I'm just going to talk to you guys about today motivation and how it was. Uh, you know, th this this moving to America was a big part of me because it would change my life, right? But then when um, when I met Steve, we already had an idea. Okay, we had an idea along the way to open up the gym. But let me tell you, uh, the motivation came within us because we loved what we were doing and we wanted to have a bigger mission. So our motivation came from helping others. Our motivation didn't come from someone else motivating me and that's what i want to tell you this motivation is it cannot come from others you have to understand that motivation is coming from within you the ambition for us to help more people to have such a big goal to train and change over twenty thousand people's lives that's what help us to stay motivated uh, because if we would have had small goals, sometimes so many of you have small goals. And maybe this is not enough to motivate you. But if you would have such a giant goal that the goal would, and the whole vision would be so scary and so big, you would start acting upon it. Because a lot of times we think too small. Unfortunately, I've done it myself. Uh, it's, sometimes it would be so big and then would be withdrawing from small and I will tell you why. Because it comes from the fear. Something unknown, something so ridiculously big that you are like, whoa, 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 where my head is going now, right? But I want you to think about it because all of you had some kind of motivation. So what's stopping you from today to achieving that weight loss goal, to go into the next step, to maybe boosting your business, becoming better parent, whatever there is. And by the way, I always drink my water on the program. So I uh, salute to the H2O guys. You should be drinking this too. Don't forget, uh, hydration is weight loss and staying fit and healthy. So um, the, the, the internal motivation and along the way throughout your life, 
you're going to find these circumstances, situations that will bring a new level of thinking, bring a new idea. And I will tell you what happened when we had the uh, no pick physique, by the way, pick physique and why on Instagram, check it out. Uh, very good page for you guys. And uh, of course, we had the locations, physical locations in New York. Now everything, what to do. So that's what the pick physique online is all about right but with the physical locations because we had to impact so many people it came natural this desire for me to get a clothing line right i want brand turn i want the brand the mission and that's what came from the business and when we opened the gym you know years years ago I never thought about creating a, a clothing line. This wasn't it. Along the way, as we were uh, creating the, the centers, that's what happened. So let me tell you, just to give you an idea how the motivation person, and I found an awesome person that helped me. We created the uh, awesome clothing line from South America. Uh, but then along the way, I realized that I need to cut the middleman and I have to do my own thing. I had to do a research farm company companies and I went far beyond America. I went outside and other land. And that's what we started. Not finish because there are huge obstacles and huge mountains along the way. And that's why we stop. So how, how are you going to go about it? Stay tuned. Stay here because I'm going to give you some tips. Stay here with me. So clothing line was completed. Awesome workout clothes were created and everything was shipped and sold in New York locations, right? The same thing was with Herbalife Nutrition. Herbalife Nutrition, I'm an Herbalife coach, I'm a world team leader, absolutely love the products. And I started very small. And I over, uh, through my hard work, because I never given up. I continuously working on it. I love the product. I share with people. I never got off stop and gained the weight, withdraw from the business. So it's all about the pure love, guys, that you have. And is, is this important for you? If something is so important for you that you, you becoming so obsessed that this thought never leaves you. And you need to have those things in life. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise that, oh my God, you are obsessed, you are sick, you are sick in the head. You should be. You should have some good obsession in your life. So I'm telling you this right now because unobsessed people are just mediocre. They, uh, and not because could they compare to, comparing them to others, it's because they can achieve so much more and they don't reach their potential. That's the scary part. And I've seen this so much throughout my life already that I, right time, <laughs> I, I've seen it. And you know what? I've seen it, seen it for many years. And, and the thing is that people like this, they do this not only in one area of their life, they do, they do this in everything in their life. How we do one thing is how we do everything. By the way, I'm here for you. It's, it, and you got to take this in. It's not to, uh, you know, to push you down. It's just, you need coaching. You need someone to tell you straightforward how it is. Because if you don't have that person in your life, you're going to be doing the same mistakes. You're going to be doing the same mistakes over and over again. But why? Why? There has to be a reason for it, guys. And, and once you understand this and the pain of regret, the pain of not doing with such an excellence, it should be making such i can't drift away i've drifted too in my life 
uh, you will find along the way, guys, the motivation. And you also will find people that are there for you and motivate you. So don't step away and, and, and don't acknowledge. Take their hand if somebody's reaching out to you. Diane is saying, reeling myself back in as I sit here drinking Herbalife beverage mix with Oikos Triple Zero yogurt. I absolutely need to focus on myself. Thank you for sharing your thought. Yeah. And you know what? And I knew, I knew this, that a lot of people drifted. A lot of people. And that's why, guys, the time is now. I mean, that's why you had these leaders lively that were here along the way. They were standing strong for you. And I know that so many of you stepped away and did not say anything. We're silent. You know why you're silent? Because when you do the wrong things, when you are uh, not following what you were told or what you so strongly believed in the past, but then you're not living with congruency of your life, you're not the person that you were, and then you see these people, uh, you know, succeeding and going forward and you're stepping back because you're not in their surroundings anymore. But if you... Do not let the circle of the high achievers and the people that really push you, then you're good to go. Because you know what? They will never, it is, it's just holding somehow someone, someone's head. Because if you let it go, if you, if you withdraw on your own from a circle of good people, you're going to be lost. And, you know, no, like people cannot... I let I let open card and I always say I'm there for you, but to chase for someone like the same like chasing the love is not good. Chasing someone to respond to you is not good too because then you know that this person is not ready. I stay strong and I continue building in all areas of my life and our freak family. And this can scare someone. It might scare you. It might think, you know, overconfidence and other BS. That's not the point. But you should be a little bit more overconfident because then you build that shield and you feel better. Okay? It's better to be a little bit overconfident than and less. I'm not saying this with, you know, don't um, allow vulnerability. Like, be vulnerable because I admit it. A lot of things and... Uh, this is absolutely not being perfect in a, a lot of areas of my life, but I try to get up and do these things and try to push myself because I know that if I don't, the other side of my brain can take over and say, you know what, you're not good enough. Or maybe uh, you, 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 you think you're too big and, and, and I don't want the other side win. We all have have these two sides we all have we have this side that's strong and motivated and then there's the other side that is not and it's that internal battle that you're doing with yourself but just acknowledge it and you know what say you know what i gotta let the other side the better side win the better side out of me the side that wants to achieve the side that wants to accomplish the side that wants to be strong the side that wants to be powerful the side that uh, it, it, it maybe overwork a little bit sometimes, but then I feel better because you create the confidence, discipline. I just want to scroll down, make sure that I'm not leaving anybody out of this conversation. But right now, I don't see anyone. I just see Diane here. So it's all it's all good, guys. It's all good. Just look for the self motivation. Ask these questions yourself that I told you, and I'm gonna give you the tips right now how to really stay motivated. And please share with you, share with me. And then, look if you see the patterns of a roller coaster ride throughout your life. If you see that you go ups and down, up and down, up and down. So this is the same like ride, like somebody losing and gaining weight. If you lose and gain weight, guess what happens? Each time you gain and each time you lose, you're going to have a harder and harder time because your body is actually losing the precious muscle and gaining the fat. And that's the struggle that people continue seeing, binging. And, and you know what it comes down to from your mindset, guys, because 
you don't have a strong mindset, strong habits and disciplines. So that, that's what it comes down to. So how are we going to stay motivated? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? The moment that you get up in the morning, you got to say mantra to yourself. Create your own mantra. Mantra. Create your own mantra. Whatever there is. Steve say, I am fucking awesome. Hit the, where are his feet hitting the ground? Whatever. I am amazing. I'm going to, whatever there is, whatever your mantra in your head, I'm, I don't want to give you mine because this is me and I want to have your own. You think about yourself. You create your own. And raise your ambition. Maybe when you get up in the morning, I'm going to be ambitious today. I'm going to go back to who I was today. Connect to who you are. Don't be someone else. Because, guys, when you, when the first thing, when so many people do, get up in the morning, they grab their phone. I never do that. My phone is plugged. My phone is close to my bed. Because I listen to the meditation when I go to sleep. It puts me down to sleep. Thank you, Headspace. Love you guys. Thank you, Headspace. Love you, love you. This is absolutely amazing. I love every bit of it. I will tag it right here. Headspace. Uh, absolutely love Coach Andy. But people just look at their phone. And they start scrolling. You know what? It's like addiction. <laughs> they should be fine. It's just that scrolling. I know how it is. Because if I if I would start, I have a hard time to finish. Because it's, please, don't. What else? You, you need to, do not look for validation or permission from other people from your dreams. Be, you are self-reliant. You give your... You, permission to do the, to these things when i was trying when i was going to america i didn't ask anyone for permission i saved my own damn money saved for a whole entire year to buy the plane ticket to fly i didn't ask, ask permission my parents my grandparents you might think that i'm crazy but you, you can't because your parents come out of love they love you and they will tell you it, it's too dangerous because they try to bubble you up because they care for you they love you and we probably will do the same to our kids but we got to be aware of this to not do that uh, that's normal that's what it comes uh, you know the first thing because they worry about you i was thinking the other day i'm like oh my god what if ivanka and tyson one day this decide decide to go somewhere else and i will i will have to say okay hey i have to let them go and decide for them all, for themselves because i've done it i've done it on my own i flew like a bird out of the cage and it's awesome because I had a great conversation about with my grandma. But that's for another time, guys. It was some good stuff. My grandma is 93 years old. And we had some deep conversations today. I talked to her because she said that time that I don't know if I'm going to be ever 93, but I wanted to know how she feels and what her thoughts are on her life. Was she happy? Was she successful? Was she was she is she satisfied with what she has? You know, because it's the worst thing when you're old and you regret every single day of your life. That's that's freaking awful. I don't want you to be in that stage. So create good habits, guys. Create the habits because in a time of a challenge, like Diane, she had a good habit going on. She was working out. She was uh, having herbal life down to the Z. And she could have taught other people and do the same. She could have been a leader. She was a leader, but she retreats. She stepped back. I'm just giving you an example, but there was a lot of people like that. But if you have good habits, in a time of a challenge, you can go back to them. To them. Because if you have nothing, you're going to be spiraling up. You're going to be all over the place. And, 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 and you're going to be lost. But if we have those good habits, no matter what's happening outside of us, we hold them. We hold them. We, 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 we are like, no, those are my habits. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. Those are mine. I, this, this is my body. This is my soul. This is what I do. This is my life. And this is my habit. And I am not going to step away from it. 
14 years of drinking herbal shakes. 14 years of drinking herbal tea with exception of being pregnant and when I was breastfeeding. Food calendar, that's what I'm talking about, the, 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 the designing habits, putting things in a calendar. Today I, I had to look at my calendar, move things around, add some stuff and being visual because if you have it in front of me, you it's going to happen. That's, that is no brainer, no doubt about it. So in times of a challenge, I'm asking you, where do you turn? What habits do you have in time of a challenge? If you don't have zero, if you have zero, please reach out to me because we need to discuss this and get you on the program. You need to have your morning routine. You need to, like without morning routine, I see this. It's all the time I talk to people. That's why when people coach with me, this is not a training anymore, guys. People coach with me different way now. I set you up for success. And they are all over the place. We need to down to the Z on your, based on what your life is, we're creating your morning routine. That's, you have to, and you have to have an evening routine. You need to create an energy throughout the day so you don't get sluggish. And you need to have time for your workout. You need to eliminate the distractions. Those are the tips for self-motivation. Because if you let distractions go onto you, you are going to be lost. You're going to be, you can't, then you stepping away from your mission, what you're supposed to be doing. So if somebody, if one of my people, you know, overseas, they are a herbal life coach and they start doing other things when they're supposed to be maybe talking to clients, they get, they step away from their mission. It can be with anything in your life. It can be with building business, whatever there is. So make sure that when you, who focus you you say okay i'm gonna be writing email and i'm putting the phone away and i'm concentrating on the writing email and give yourself a time so because your body loves to work on time deadlines we love that our brain loves it you know how it is when we were putting a marketing campaign and we would say by midnight this offer is done people would buy it like crazy know your triggers people what is it maybe watching movies will cause you overeat maybe there are three P's that I'm going to mention. People, place, this product. You want to know more? You're going to sign up for a webinar coming up. There will be actually a mind-blowing for a lot of you. There is a webinar coming up. Make sure that you're going to watch for this webinar because it's going to be free a webinar. Invest in self-development. If you want to go to the next level, you need to internally change yourself. You need to understand a lot of things. And this read, listen, hire a coach. There is no question about this. No one ever, listen to this, achieved a weight loss being, don't get offended by this, but this is truth, being in a fat state of mind. No one ever, no one ever achieved success. No one ever achieved love being in a hate state of mind. Those are my words. I created them. I put them in place today for you. So it kind of stick to your hand and you will be like, wow, this is true. Like, think, think about it. Like, it, how, how can you approach love with hate? You will never succeed. Don't think about some stories that, you know, from hate to love. Not, not really. No, because it creates traction and it, it doesn't flow. I mean, come on. If you if you if you think that you constantly fat, you're gonna be fat. If you you can't lose the weight, it's not gonna happen. If somebody thinks that it's a loser internally, you will never succeed. They have to get rid of and change the story of the life and think, you know what, I am awesome. That's why saying that this might activate all of you to do that. Please listen to the video from the beginning. There's a good points. Be prepared for obstacles. You have to acknowledge that they're going to come no matter what. I already like we're creating some good stuff coming up. It's It's been in creation for a few months. A lot of different things going on right now. A lot of different new companies being created. And, and you know what? And I know that there will be obstacles. I already faced them. And I search and I discover. I be creative. I am 
resourceful. I'm going to find a person. I'm going to find something. And I'm going to continue doing it and build the empire that I wanted to build. For you, maybe not empire. Maybe something else. Maybe something different. It's all about servicing others. We're not talking about our internal ego. We're talking about servicing, right? So be prepared for overcoming the obstacles. That's life. They're going to happen. Because if you always stop with every obstacle, you will never be able to succeed. And it's all different. So with this said, guys, please join me for coaching with me. I will help you to achieve the next level of success. I will motivate you and push you to the next level. Reach out to me. Send me direct message. Make a comment on the video. Share with someone that needs it. Talk at least one person and honor your journey today because that's what it's all about i will talk to you guys later have a no excuses day thank you for watching